Now we have seen the Nifty decline for one, two, three, four consecutive days. I would say five also because this is where the low point was reached, and the real body, which is essentially the the candle. For those who don't know the difference uh, between a you know, real body and a standard body, is uh, uh, this is of course based on bars. So when we look uh, at the uh, candles, you see they are all red. Essentially, that means that the closing is lower than the open. Okay, and so on a candle chart, it will be like. uh we didn't really end it's like 5 days here 6th day here still a down day in terms of where it is closing compared to the open even though we closed marginally positive yesterday so the real bodies are not yet positive uh that's the basic idea now if it has fallen from here to here you can see the date this is the 25th or the 26th and uh we topped at around the 15th of september now why am i talking about this is that what you really would want to figure out is which are the best stocks that you should be buying when the next move up starts how do you really do that how do you really come up with the best stocks so there's one way to do that and which is to figure out which are the best performing stocks in that uh, particular period and one way uh, to really do that which we've made it very very easy uh, here on strike is go to the heat maps and use the custom section which means you can simply customize the time frame in which you want to do a check okay So if I want to do and I want to run it on the Nifty 50, I'm going to leave the rest for you to check out. So if you actually go to the 15th, which is when the market top, and the 26th, and I apply, okay, so I can get a performance of this particular time period that interests me when the market has fallen, and then check out which are the best performing stocks. And like for example, here within the Nifty 50, it's actually Bajaj Finance, and followed by Asian Paints and Coal India. Now what I would want to do is study these individual charts for their relative strength, right? So if I click on uh bajaj finance and actually get this chart i may even want to you know draw some more indicators maybe i want to see the rohit setup which makes it easier for me because that's what i'm used to and i find that this stock is uh, sorry this is an early chart so i'll go to the daily is essentially holding above the averages throughout this correction in the nifty it didn't fall at all that shows great relative strength you could have actually spotted this even 2 days ago uh, ahead of this big move you got yesterday you know so stocks that are relatively strong continue to remain strong that is the basic thesis it prove it this is already proven that here in the last two days and that's what you really want to check out when you uh, you know go to a heat map i have done it for the nifty 50 year what i would want to do it on is where i trade see if you trade in the fno you want to run the fno basket so you drop down and do the fno basket you also want to click on the nifty mid cap 100 and see those results for the cash market trades uh you know so those are important and if you want to go wide you may do the nifty 500 so and then look at the top performers look at the individual chart see which ones are nice have good setups if you like wave counts you can check out the wave counts and that should help you narrow down your list and where you want to actually place trades so that's the way to really do it uh chasing performance in a bull market is essentially the logical way of uh, dealing with it you don't want to find that stock which is crashed and might move because what if it doesn't move at all rather the money really gets made in knowing where the market is moving because the market is interested here in this particular stock why aren't you very very simple so same way uh, 10 days ago i thought the psu and pse indices had volume spikes volume climaxes but what do you see they did not fall at all they still strong relatively strong on a 15 on a from the 15th of september so that means the strength is still there within this segment and you can't lose focus on it so that's uh, it from me you can go and check out uh, this tool do what i just told you to do and run it on the fno mid cap basket so i'll not do that here i'm going to publish those lists for india charts insiders later uh, but check it out and this is how you really need to use uh, web.strike.money it's free right now so you can get these lists uh, on your own by simply creating a login user id uh, and password and start using strike thank you